It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny Smith is here. Shaquille O'Neal. Big guy right there. Oh. <laughs> Tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. And for Los Angeles, on their home court against a subpar team, this is one they expect to win. As long as they play with effort, you have to like their chances. One of the players we'll see tonight, Brandon Ingram, second overall pick in 16, has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant, but Kenny, he's still got a ways to go. Yeah, we know it could take a while, but he's, he's going in the right direction. I mean, he's a little undersized in terms of uh, weight, but his ability- It's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, he's yeah. skinny. Okay, he's a little skinny. Thank you, Ernie. Uh, his, his shooting efficiency is a work in progress. But he has the length to impact all areas of the game. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thanks for like, joining us, everybody. I don't like the word skin. Slender. There he is. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan, and what an honor for us tonight to bring to you the greatest Laker, perhaps of all time, Kobe Bryant. Kobe, so great to have you with us courtside tonight. Oh, thank you, man. The pleasure is all mine, and uh, I always like to stop by and spend time with you guys. Well, this is going to be fun tonight. It sure is. Tonight here in Los Angeles, the two most dominant teams of the last decade are set to do battle. It's the Lakers taking on the San Antonio Spurs. You look at San Antonio, this game coming after a loss against the Jazz. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. Yeah, I just thought their energy was lacking defensively. Just gave up way too many easy shots. But you know what? That's a problem anytime, but especially on the road where you need to be given an extra effort. And the starting group for the Spurs. They've got Chris Middleton. Pau Gasol is out there at Bloodsuck. And it's Bertson is in at the four slot. Here's Bledsoe. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Anzo Ball picks one up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And Kobe, many people measure success in the NBA with the number of rings. Not so much the stats for Carl Malone and Steve Nash and guys of that ilk. You know, they're truly great players, but they never won a championship. How are these legacies measured, do you think, when all is said and done, when you take a look at the landscape of that topic? Well, they're great players who just never won championships. I mean, it's that simple to me. Mm -hmm. it's, they're just phenomenal players. And winning a championship is extremely difficult. And you have to have so many things go right for you. And you have to be extremely fortunate to be with an organization and to have a GM that understands talent, understands the cap, understands how to build championship caliber teams. And uh, Michael and myself were extremely fortunate, as was Larry, as was Magic. But at the same time, it becomes a player's responsibility to lead that core group of players to the title. He hits the second from the line. Pass to Hart. Kicks it to LeBron. Over Middleton. A nice shot by LeBron. Yeah, off contact. I'll take LeBron pretty much every time. Can't beat that kind of strength and body control. 
Now here's Bledsoe. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Utah Jazz. And when you factor in the assist totals, that's a complete game. Gasol's in the post. Zubat's defending. It's Gasol missing. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Kuzma. That one's not going to go. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Last time they met was in San Antonio. Yeah, they were just wrecked last time they faced this team, and a lot of it was their own undoing. It was a sizable loss, and it was mostly due to their awful passing and ball control. They just need to use better judgment in this game. And the rejection by Zubats. And Hart has it in the corner. And LeBron throws it down hard. Add that one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? That instant replay brought to you by Under Armour Hover Havoc, giving us a chance to relive the unleashing of chaos that time. Here's Bertans. He averages a bit over six points a game. And Gasol gets it to go. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. Hart the pass to James. And the dunk by James. You see the tremendous first step, the power. LeBron loves to put the defense back on its heels. Bledsoe kicks to Walker. Right side Gasol. The kick out to Walker. Six to shoot. Bledsoe against Ball. Offensive rebound. Back to Walker. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Los Angeles leading by three. Kuzma, that's good. He could have tried to force a shot there. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up, finds an open teammate. Kobe, a lot of guys would keep uh, written notebooks on team styles, individual players, something to it mentally. What did you do? I used to do that, too, at the start. And then I started kind of looking at the lineage of coaches. I started figuring out that most of them come from the same coaching pedigree. Therefore, the defensive packages are pretty much the same. So you, stu you study <laughs> so, coaches. Well, yeah, because the defensive schematics are all the same. Like, if you look around now, how many Popovich disciples do you have? Mm -hmm, a lot. Right, so you're essentially playing against the same defensive strategy that you would see against a Popovich team. The same offensive philosophy that you see from a Popovich right. team. Right. So it's all consistent. It's all there. The Lakers have gone four or five from the field so far. Good work there as it goes. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Bertans kicks to Bledsoe. To the paint. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And let's check out stats for James. This last month, he's been positively spectacular, averaging about 32 points a game, five assists, and five rebounds. What incredible numbers. He has been a beast. You know what? Everything is coming so easy for him right now, operating on the highest level. Here's Hart. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Ball, the pass to Zubats. Back to Ball. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Gasol. They need this one. Walker's shot is off. Lakers leading by seven. To the middle. Here's Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. And, and nobody, guys, Pardon? among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. If you aren't going to at least step in front of him, you can't be surprised when he throws it down like that. And, and checking out the numbers for Lonzo Ball, over the last 10 games or so, he's really shown up. Second in steals, and not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And back to your point, number two in steals, he's just a tireless worker. Plays that hard-nosed on-ball defense. Most guys just can't disengage from him. Bertans inside the line, and a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. 
And, Kobe, one aspect that always stood out about your career and dedication was your work ethic. What motivated you to continue to work hard, even into your last year in the NBA, when your body sometimes would say, <laughs> no more work, yeah. right? Yeah. No yeah. more work. Yeah, I, I love the process. You know, I love the process more than the actual game, you know, because it's a puzzle. You have to figure out how things are going to work. Okay, my ankles won't loosen up. Mm -hmm. How do I get them to loosen up? Right? Contrast therapy, stretch, modalities, strength training. Right? So it's a constant puzzle. That would puzzle. take hours and hours and hours. Hours and hours and yeah. hours. Very tedious things. But you're, it's like a quest. You're, you're trying to figure out what's going to work. Right? It's the little challenges along the way that always kept me interested. Mm -hmm. For three, Bledsoe, rebounded by the Lakers. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And, and I know the defense wasn't great, but yet and still, their ability to stay composed was impressive. When things come too easy, it's easy to lose focus. But they held each other accountable and played hard. Clock at four. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And now let's turn to the 2K leaderboard for a look at the squads that have the most points in transition over the past 10 games. The Lakers, number one. I mean, no doubt for me that they, they've hit their stride the last few weeks. I mean, they are punishing the defenses with that up-tempo style. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to catch up with Luke Walton. And in talking about this matchup, he said, this is a team that will execute you to death. He said, the tough thing is that they have such great awareness offensively. Their discipline, their recognition, any mistake you make at the defensive end, nine times out of 10, they're going to exploit it. So Kevin, we'll see who wins the chess match tonight. David, thanks as always. Their goal early on is a simple one, keeping those opposing shooters from getting hot. Yeah, and so defensively, they, they can't get tied into any one strategy. It might take a few different approaches here before they find one that works. Greg, the reason why is you're never sure which of their shooters is going to get hot. The matchups will change depending on who's doing the most damage. He got a good look from the mid-range area. He needs to shoot this one with more confidence. And Kobe, you look at the different styles and different approaches the teams employ. How much input did you have to say, hey, this is what I'm seeing. This is how I think we should play. Yeah, well, that, that was the beauty about Phil's system. The triangle was that the players had to take the responsibility of making it what it was. Right? He gave us a format to play out of, and he gave us the structure. But within that structure, you have a myriad of options. Right. And it's our responsibility, it was Michael's and Scotty's responsibility, to figure out how to put Luke Longley, how to put Derek Fisher in the right spot on the floor to take advantage of the defense that you're facing. Sounds complicated. No, but you know, when you, when you look at it, like the triangle, it spells things out very simplistically because you have rules. Right. When you have rules, then it's very easy to say, okay, when this happens, this happens. Mm -hmm. When that happens, this happens, right? So it makes the game very, very easy to measure. And so things don't happen on accident, right? They happen with intent. Here's James following the basket by Chris Middleton. James in the post. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Wagner, he's checked in for Zubats. Beasley comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for LeBron. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Hart. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for the Spurs. Mills comes in for Eric Bledsoe. And Mills kicks to Bertans. Bellinelli with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Now here's Mills. He's guarded closely. Bertle, the pass to Bertans. Hits the three-point bomb. Berton's got his second basket of the night. What vision from Perto getting the pass over to the wide open man. Here's Caldwell Pope. Bellinelli pulls it in. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Pondexter kicks to Perto. That's tipped. Bellinelli passes to Berton's. To the right side. 
a baseline J. Pondexter, no good. Lakers leading by four. And, Kobe, I remember you saying that curiosity is such a valuable trait in a play. I, I bet the triangle was a very intriguing offense for you to learn and grasp. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's, uh, it created such a system. It's like, you know, uh, jazz. When people watch jazz musicians orchestrate, and it seems as if they're freelancing, but they're freelancing with a built-in structure. You have to have structure mm -hmm. in order to be able to freelance and create these amazing things. And the triangle gave unbelievable structure. And, you know, some of the people that I've talked to, that have competed against the triangle and lost against the triangle, whether it was to us or to the Bulls, all lament about the triangle's the biggest crock of garbage. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. you and Michael. And I said, you know what? Let's have a conversation about that. You remember this play? Yeah. Okay, that play happened at the moment it happened with two minutes ago in the fourth quarter because we knew in the first minute of the game when we ran it, you did this defensively. So we said, okay, they did that. Check. We'll wait. Okay, now let's look at this action. Okay, this action, how are they playing this action? They're playing mm -hmm. it that way. All right, check. Hold it. We'll wait. Interesting. <laughs> right? Very and so in the fourth quarter, we're able to take advantage. Why? Because we have a structure. And from that structure, we know what you are doing, and we know how to counter what you're doing. Right? There's a reason Michael can look at Steve Kerr in a timeout and said, be ready. How would he know that? Yeah, right. How right. would he know that mm -hmm. unless he knew every time he drove middle, Stockton was coming over to help on his dribble penetration? He could have made that pass to Steve Kerr in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Why did he wait? Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Bellinelli against Caldwell Pope. Here's Bellinelli. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He kicks it to Mills. And a miss there on the triple. Lakers leading by nine. Rondo looking over the floor. 125 left to play in the first. Here's Pondexter. Sweet little floater. Pondexter's got his first points of the night. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. Outside Rondo. Now here's Ingram. Defense right on him. Here's Wagner. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Bertans. Covered by Beasley. Shots good by Mills. You know, he's not someone who spends a ton of time in the painted area, but Patty Mills looking comfortable on that one. Outside Rondo. The pass to Ingram. Pass to Wagner. Trains it from beyond the arc. Wagner's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Now here's Mills. He's covered by Rondo. Back to Mills. Pass to Bellinelli. Shot clock at six. But Trey, first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Oh, okay, it's on. Trading blows here from distance. You know what? Both sides are in rhythm. The defense out there having no effect. Right side, Rondo. Good if it goes. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. The NBA game drawing fans from every culture. And Pau Gasol definitely feeling the love from the Spanish and Latino community. I always notice the fans that uh, support us and make us feel uh, since pretty much since I got to the NBA, all the Latino fans showed a lot of love and support towards me. So I appreciate it. The game going global and no better ambassador than Pau Gasol. And as the players grow more international, fans from every country and continent, for that matter, finding more and more reason to root for the NBA. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, really good with their post presence, and it's really allowed them to establish a physical tone here in the first. Coming. 
Well, you know, in this era, everybody likes Two. the three-point shot. I like their commitment to pounding the ball inside. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for San Antonio. They've got Pirtle, Quincy Pondexter out there with Bellinelli, and it's Mills, and it's Forbes in at the two. The first free throw is good. And one of the game's best free throw shooters. It's a shame that Patty almost never gets to the line. And the Lakers making a change here. Stevenson's checked in. Both shots good from the stripe. Taking advantage at the charity stripe like he always does. Terrific touch. Kobe are so decorated in every way individually and as a teammate with the five championships of all the things, the all-star games, the all-defense, all the individual things you've accomplished, what is the one thing you, mo you might cherish? And you may have alluded to it with the championships, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but at the end of the day, is that the one thing above everything else that you covet? Um, no. You know, I, I, the fact that I can look in the mirror and honestly say I gave everything to the game. Right? That was obvious. That's, but that's the thing, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to feel like you've left anything on the table. There's no stone left unturned. Like I gave everything to the game that I possibly could. That, to me, is the best, the biggest accomplishment. What a feeling. Yeah. Here's Pirtle. Michael Beasley picking up that last basket. Textbook form from Pirtle, getting room to shoot from the mid-range and nailing the shot. The pass to Wagner. Kicks it to Beasley. Ingram, left side. No good on the triple. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Mills finds Bellinelli. Now here's Mills. T right on him. Back to Bellinelli. Perfect vision. Mills getting quicker these days at spotting the open man. The Lakers in the lead. Stevenson passes to Rondo. And here's Beasley, covered by Mills. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. Here's Bellinelli after the basket by the Lakers. To the inside. Shot clock at five. Some solid defense from Ingram. When you miss a lay-in, it sort of sucks the energy out of your team. Stevenson with a clean look. Rebound San Antonio. A high percentage look from the mid-range. Might have been surprised that he was so wide open. Pondexter kicks to Mills. He doesn't hit that one. And the Lakers take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And playing in Los Angeles, did, did you ever look into the crowd and just appreciate that platform and just think, wow, how can it get any better than Los Angeles and, and winning yeah. in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? I, yeah, I used to you know, look on the sidelines when I first came out here and you see Jack Nicholson. You see you know, all of these A-list celebrities and actors. And the thing that I always found fascinating and interesting is that I would go and watch them on the screen. And here they're all watching me perform. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's fascinating. Because when we watch them on the screen performing, you understand that there's one take, there's two takes, there's three takes, right? There's prep that goes in. When they're watching us perform, there are no backsies, right? If I take a horrible shot, I can't, I can't say cut, take two. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Exactly. And so I took a lot of pride in trying uh -huh. to give them the best performance I possibly can, live and direct. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Zubats is checked in for Wagner. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Michael Beasley. LeBron's checked in for Ingram. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Rajon Rondo. Here's Bledsoe following the three by the Lakers. He kicks to Forbes. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Stevenson passes to Kuzma. That's good, and it's Stevenson with the assist. 
And now it's an eight-point Laker lead. That's all confidence right there. He knows he's in a groove, and they've got this team on its heels. Bounce pass, Middleton. Ball against Bloodsoe to the paint. Here's Gasol. Plays it up and banks it in. Gasol's got six. It's Hall with a terrific skill set. Gasol remains one of our better scorers inside. James in the post. Defended by Middleton. And here is Zubac. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's LeBron. The rebound by Gasol. Tough miss. He found some space inside the arc, but he could deliver. And Middleton kicks to Gasol. Ball against Bloodsoe. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And Kobe, one of your trademarks, the fadeaway jumper. It's so effective because it's unguardable. Can't guard it. I remember playing against Eric Snow in the Sixers one time in Philadelphia, who was a really great defensive player. And I took him down the post, and I turned around, and I hit a fall away. And running back up the court, he was like, man, if you're going to make that, man, it's just, you know, I, I just got to put my hand up. If you're going to make that yeah. shot, God bless you. I said, well, then God bless me because I practiced that shot thousands of times, so thank you. And, and he was a good defender. He's a great defender. Yes, yes. But those, those fadeaway shots, you know, players are just used to putting the hand up. But if you just put a hand up, and these are shots that I take thousands of times. Yeah. We just got to hope I miss it. <laughs> and you didn't. No, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, we see new players coming into prominence for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, Greg Popovich gives his veterans credit for accepting it gracefully and helping the young guys be successful. He says it's a tribute to their character and awareness. Kevin? Well, they certainly have established a great culture in San Antonio. Really something. D.A., thank you. Here's Middleton following the basket by LeBron James. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Gasol. Nice scoring move inside. Gasol undeterred with a hand in his face. Hart the pass to Kuzma. The teardrop falls in. Kuzma's got 14 points for the game. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Bledsoe kicks to Walker. And the pass to Gasol. Brittle with the ball. Zubac defending. The nine-foot shot. Count it in the Laker lead. Has been cut to just three points on the basket from Pirtle. Really nice work. Pirtle going to town on the weak defense down in the paint. James, the pass to Kuzma. James against Middleton. And that one's good. James. 14 points for him. And just carrying over from his last game. Completely dialed in. You, you can sense his confidence. I totally agree. Heat check after heat check. He realizes, man, I'm still hot. Stolen by Zubac. Here's Kuzma. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Davis Bertans checks in for Pirtle. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Spurs trail by six. 
Middleton the pass to Bertels. Outside for Bledsoe. It's good from long range. Bledsoe's got six here in this quarter. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. To the paint, and it's ball in the corner. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And the Lakers lead by six. And so it's Bledsoe with it, bringing it up for San Antonio. Pass to Berton. LeBron against Middleton. Pass to Gasol. Here's Bertans. Just four to shoot. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. San Antonio with the rebound. Bertans got rebound number five here tonight. Ludzo finds Middleton. Here's Bertans, guarded by Kuzma. Let's it go with a three. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just three on the basket from Bertans. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. James in the post, defended by Middleton. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. One shot. You know, maybe the most storied high school player ever. It's amazing to think that LeBron's exceeded expectation here at the pro level. Now here's Bledsoe. Seven points in the game. Gasol's in the post. Zubat's defending. Gasol kicks to Bertans. Unable to get that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Hart the pass the ball. Now Caldwell Pope guarded by Walker and finished off by LeBron. I mean, plenty of lift in those legs. LeBron never did the dunk contest. He just does it in a game. Bledsoe kicks to Middleton. Passes to Gasol. Here's Bertans. Zubats defending. Bertans' shot is good. Finding the man who broke free. The great vision of Pau Casal making that play happen. Los Angeles leading by six. Now the pass to Caldwell Pope. No good with the triple. San Antonio's gone three of four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. Bertanis fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And Los Angeles with some changes. Beasley's checked in for Zubats. Brandon Ingram comes in for Josh Hart. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Lonzo Ball. Bellinelli, he's checked in for the Spurs. In this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's LeBron. He's got 19. Caldwell Pope kicks to Ronda. High arcing shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Rondo's got his second basket of the night. Rondo slicing them up with a sick dribble move. Man, he can be tough to stay in front of. Pass to Bertans. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Gasol. May have been a foul. Anyway, Gasol absorbs the hit, but strong enough to finish through it. Now here's Beasley. 
He has seven. In the corner, it's Ingram. It's stolen by Bellinelli. Well, Kobe, I know you can't stay any longer, but I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of our fans watching and playing the game tonight. Always a pleasure to uh, have you drop by our broadcast. No, thank you for having me, man, and uh, anytime. There he is, the legendary Kobe Bryant. Well, Smitty, with Kobe stopping by the booth, you think back to some of the great moments of his career. Do you recall the first time you ever went up against him on the floor? I do. I remember his rookie year. He didn't play a lot of minutes, but you could tell he was a special talent. He was a total package, and I was looking forward to see his career develop. His temperature is rising. I mean, it is rising. Blunso taking his time here. Over Beasley. Gasol, no good. Looking a little tentative on a very makeable shot. And this one was uncontested. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Now here's Budzo. He's got seven. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Gasol. Excellent D there from Beasley. Boy, he blew an easy layup, and he is furious with himself. And finished off by LeBron. A guy that great, you have to make somebody else beat you. LeBron's been hot tonight. With one on the clock, and Rondo sends it back. That'll do it for the first half. Lakers lead by seven. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Pop. Facing a deficit in the second half. What do you tell you guys? I think we just moved the ball a little bit. We were just on the dribble a little bit too much, and they got a lot of pressure out there, so the ball's got to move. Pop, thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, it's good to have you back. You're watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. This right here is Kenny the Jet Smith. This right here is Shaquille O'Neal. Me, I'm just Ernie. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 23 points, two assists, and one rebound. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? Well, we saw once again, Ernie, there really is no great way to defend LeBron. He has the strength to get to the rim anytime he wants. Reminds me of somebody I used to know, Ernie. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Spurs? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. It's been a clinic out there by James. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. Coaches are always talking, Steve, about finishing games strong. What does it take to be a great closer, a, a great finisher? I think uh, guys look at guys that can score the basketball and make plays under duress, under adversity. But I think also on the defensive end, where you have players and teams, and it's beautiful to watch on the defensive end when they don't miss assignments. Everybody is locked in, and obviously teams score the basketball, but you look and say, they made them score over the top versus giving up an easy layup. Mm. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Lonzo Ball out there with Hart, and it's Zubats in at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Now, here's Gasol. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. And that's how you want to come out of the locker room. He is fired up. Yes, in the first minute or so, you knock down a couple shots. You are in rhythm. Here's James, and the shot goes down. LeBron's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. 
Taking advantage of what's there. LeBron reads the situation correctly. And Walker kicks to Gasol. Down low and stolen by James. On the wing, James. Here's Ball, and he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, there's a ton to talk about Lonzo Ball, but if you focus just on what he brings to an offense, there's a lot to like. Yeah, I mean, he just sees so much on the floor. I mean, he sees all the cuts and angles, both offensively and defensively. And, and we know his shot will be a work in progress, but it shows some improvement in consistency the second half of last year. And for all the circus that can surround Ball off the court, you forget that he is already an elite playmaker in the NBA. That's good from Ball. Yeah, impressed with the work ethic of Ball. You can see a desire to want to be great, and he's going to continue to work on improving those weaknesses. So he gets them both. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting cast. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. Here's LeBron after Pau Gasol's bucket. LeBron kicks to Hart. Back to James. Ice ball movement here by the Lakers. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Lakers shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And that one misses. And Smitty, the three-point shot last season, not the Spurs' best friend. They rarely shoot a ton of threes, but the ones they take, they usually make at a high clip. They had a new starting point guard, and Kawhi Leonard only played nine games. That won't help. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The three from Bertans. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Releases. And he can't bank that one in. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump time shots. Out. It's time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Jakob Pertl's check in for Gasol. Bryn Forbes comes in for Walker. And it's Mills in for Eric Bledsoe. Forbes can't get it to go. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Oh, great ball movement there. Spurs trail by 18. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pirtle kicks to Middleton. Pass to Mills to stop the run. Good on the three-point shot. Mills has got 10 points in the game. And this is where Mills kills you. Tremendous range. Here's Hart. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's Kuzma. Can't hit from 12. San Antonio's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. And Mills kicks to Forbes. Back to Mills. 
Passes it to Forbes. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. For star players, even after a loss, Steve, they're asked to give press conferences after the games. Talk about how difficult that is for a player in the moments after a very difficult defeat. And this is where you have to use your teammates and obviously your PR uh, guys around the team to help you and obviously gather yourself uh, before you get a chance to go in there because it's tough. You're running high with emotions and sometimes the wrong type of emotions. Yes. But I also, Kevin, would love to see on the media side, there are some questions I just don't agree with. I think you should get a yellow card. You ask a dumb question, and if you get a red <laughs> card, you can't ask any more questions for that series. I think you'd be handing me cards after everything I say. I'd, I'd be piling no, cards not at all, in front Kevin, of me. Not at all. <laughs> Spurs trail by 15. Inside. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, of course, there's no shortage of storylines in Los Angeles. Now, last season, some people thought that Lakers coach Luke Walton had lost his players, and the front office seemed slow to come to his defense. Now, Walton was a high-profile hire from Golden State in 2016, and you wonder if the Lakers will remain committed to their young coach if they can't start winning more regularly. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And so it's San Antonio with it, following the bucket by the Lakers. There's the three, and he's good on the three ball. Forbes has got his first three points of the game. This is what these perimeter plays are designed to produce. Quality looks for spot-on shooters. And there's the pass to ball. Knocked away. Hills with the steal. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be Lance Stevenson. I mean, good awareness for Mills. Catches the defender out of position, takes advantage. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big-name free agents, and they succeeded. They got the biggest name of them all in LeBron. LeBron coming to L.A. completely shifts the mindset of this organization team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now Lakers leading by 12 it's Beasley on the wing nine points in the game so far and it's Ingram missing and that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. Now here's Mills. Pondexter kicks to Pirtle. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. San Antonio again missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. Ah, and right there, a little miscommunication on that pass. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Bellinelli, he's checked in for the Spurs. Spurs trail by 12. Now here's timeout, Mills. Timeout. 12 points for him. So Greg Popovich going to take a timeout right here and talk to his team. Obviously, the Spurs went through a number of lineups last season. Younger guys filling major roles. Big shift for this organization. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart for LeBron. And everything he's touched has turned to gold. If you are on defense, you have to make sure all five players know exactly where he is at all times. Because if he gets a sliver of a look, he'll get it done. Now, here is Pirtle. Bellinelli with it. Back to Mills. K 
kicks to Bellinelli. Down to five on the shot clock. Pondexter from outside. Nailed from three-point land. Pondexter's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Spurs. And despite the changeover, the Spurs still managed to take care of the basketball. Fourth in the league and fewest turnovers from a young group. Popovich demands efficiency. Now here's Caldwell Pope. No points in the game yet for him. No good from Beasley. That was very tight defense. He tried to force the layup anyway. I think that was a questionable decision. The shot's good from Forbes. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Ingram. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Here is Forbes. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Forbes the pass to Mills. And here is Bellinelli. Shoots it up. Forbes can't get it to go. I mean, the mid-range jump shot, a lot of guys have a hard time knocking it down. Beasley kicks to Ronda. Bobs it up there for Ingram. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. And the Lakers lead by nine. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. Now, here's Mills. He's covered by Rondo. Bertle, the pass to Bellinelli. And here's Mills from the arc. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Stevenson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Back to Rondo. Easily outside. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And that's 11 points for Beasley. This is why guys like playing with Rondo, they know he's going to get them high percentage shots. Here is Forbes. He has five. Pass to Mills. Let's the three fly. Beasley with the rebound. You know, I like the competitive fire, but he's still really out of sync. Caldwell Pope finds Stevenson. Count it. Yeah, becoming better at setting up his teammates, and uh, KCP delivers that pass on target. Here's Mills. He's got 15. San Antonio calls timeout. Well, Steve, we have a viewer question that has come in here. It's Randy from Texas. And let me see if I can. Oh, he says, what's your favorite basketball movie? Oh, the fish that saved Pittsburgh, Kevin. That's my favorite oh, no. basketball movie. And there's a lot of them. Is it really? But I would say that was, that was, that was probably number one for me. No kidding. A different look now for San Antonio. Al Gasol is checked in for Pondexter. Walker comes in for Brent Forbes. And Three. Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Patty Mills. While we have a break, we can see which teams have made the most of their second chance opportunities over the last 10 games. The Lakers second. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. Now, here's Stevenson, currently averaging almost six points a game, banked in off the glass. Stevenson's got his second basket of the night. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. And Walker kicks to Bledsoe. Pass to Gasol. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. Just five on the clock. Here's Pirtle. Rebounded by the Lakers. They led by as many as 18 points. Beasley, the pass to Ingram. Down low, here's Rondo, and he makes good on the layup. Rondo's got six. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Bloodso against Rondo. Bloodso kicks to Bellinelli. Out to the wing. Here's Gasol. 
San Antonio again missing. Beasley outside. A three-pointer off the mark. Spurs trail by 14. Bledsoe left side. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. He's got nine. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Ingram up top. Bellinelli is covering, and it goes down two points. And that's 13 points for Beasley. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Now Bloodsoe, he kicks to Walker. And it is good at the buzzer, wow! And they make sure to get the last shot of the quarter there, nicely done. You know, this is the discipline you need to play with. At this level, number of possessions matters. And so it's Los Angeles, up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we'll be right back after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for San Antonio. They've got Bloodsoe. Bellinelli is out there with Pau Gasol. And it's Walker in at the two-guard spot. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. You know, there's no shame in passing out in that situation. Leave your ego at the door. Now, here's Bellinelli. Here's Bertans for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Beasley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. James finds Beasley. Ingram against Bellinelli. Now here's Ingram. D right on him. Over Bellinelli. And it falls over the rim and in. Ingram's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Lakers. And so it's Budso. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. It's a 14-point game. Gasol against Beasley. Gasol passes to Walker. Doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Beasley. James kicks to Beasley. Rebound San Antonio. Gasol's got his fifth rebound in this one. Ludzo passes to Gasol. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Back to Bellinelli. Let's it go from the wing. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Los Angeles leading by 14. James with it, now guarded by Bloodso. And it's good, two points. And that's 15 points for Beasley. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort to date. Terrific ball movement. Bloodso kicks to Gasol. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. You know, a top 10 in career points for active players. Pow, Gasol lighting up the Nets tonight. To the paint, Gasol with the steal. And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way. And the rejection by James. Walker finds Bloodso. Here's Bertans. Now, here's Walker, covered by LeBron. Five to shoot. There's the pass to Bertans. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for the Lakers. Zubat is checked in for Beasley. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Brandon Ingram. And Ball subbed in for Rajon Rondo. 
And San Antonio also making a switch. Middleton's checked in. Ball against Bloodsoe. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's going to send LeBron James to the line. It goes on Chris Middleton. And Greg, what else is there to say about LeBron, one of the best to ever play the game? I mean, he's been the face of the league for so long, and he's done a tremendous justice to that title. Has always played with so many expectations and, and really has met every single one, one of them. It's one a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see a guy like LeBron in the NBA, and, and he's truly been a generational talent. Spurs trail by 17. Here's Bertans, guarded by Kuzma. Here's Gasol. Outside for Bledsoe. San Antonio again missing. Ron right side. Oh! Oh! Wow! I can't believe that one. That was incredible. Just increasing their advantage, and right now they're in a zone on both ends. Yeah, this lead has snowballed. Credit their killer instinct for piling on. Now here's Budzo. Pass to Bertans. Now here's Budzo. Six to shoot. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team. And sometimes you just try to do too much. Hart the pass to Ball. Now, here's Kuzma. Defense right on him. Dishes to James. A three-pointer off the mark. Spurs trail by 19. Middleton looking it over. Kicks it to Walker. There's tennis, the pass to Walker. The shot by Bloodsoe, nobody around. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists tonight. Pass to Hart. James right side. And there's another one for the Lakers. I mean a perfect combination of power and grace. LeBron does a lot of damage in the mid-range. Bledsoe kicks to Walker. Passes it to Gasol. Here's Bertans. And here's Walker. And he makes that one. And you can bet they weren't expecting that kind of a flashy move out of him. But that spin worked to perfection. Ball dishes to LeBron. And Hart has it in the corner. That three off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And Walker kicks to Gasol. And there's the pass to Middleton. Ball against Bloodsoe. Buries it down low. Bloodsoe's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, going to the floater right there. That was pretty. Lakers leading by 14. Now here's James, stolen by Middleton. Pass to Bertans. And there's the feed to Bloodsoe. Pass break, the Lakers. Kuzma with the ball. Gasol with the steal. Up top, Bloodsoe. The 19-foot shot. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got seven rebounds in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Walker. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got eight rebounds in this game. 
Hart the pass to James. Inside. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And the Lakers lead by 16. Hard to stop even when you know it's coming. LeBron waits for just the right moment. Delivers the perfect pass. Now here's Walker. Left side Gasol. For three, Middleton. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Gasol's got three assists tonight. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, forcing defenders to come out and guard them, which could open up driving lanes if they want to take advantage of that. Now here's Budzo after LeBron James's miss. Bloodso outside. He kicks it to Gasol. Pass to Bertans. Over James. Bertans can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by 13. The drive by James. Ball. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, LeBron garners so much defensive attention. That's how he's able to dominate the game as a facilitator. Passes to Bertans. Ball against Bledsoe. Gasol passes to Bertans. Can't connect from short range. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Ball no good. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Spurs. Down by 15. Bledsoe against Ball. Gasol kicks to Bledsoe. Shot clock at six. From deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Bellinelli, he's checked in for the Spurs. Marco Bellinelli. Los Angeles leading by 15. Ball with it. The dish to James. Zubats the pass to James. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. San Antonio's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Here's Middleton. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. And haven't done as much damage inside as they did in the first half, but they should not get away from that. They, they can still put pressure on the D if they pound it inside. And Smitty, for players going from college to the pros, which skills tend to be most immediately shot, transferable? Gentlemen. You know, I think the skills on offense, a lot of times those guys um, are able to drive the basketball and penetrate. Those are the guys that can transfer easily from college. I think it's hard shooting-wise being able to shoot the three ball at the college level because at the NBA level, the line is pushed back. And I think the one skill level that gives a lot of young guys a lot of uh, – it gives them a hard time is defensively. I think that's the one skill is not easily transferred to the NBA. Now here's Bellinelli after LeBron James's miss. Stolen by ball. And the pass to Kuzma. Kicks to LeBron. Now, here's Kuzma. Defense right on him. He dishes it to Ball. Five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. 152 left in the fourth. One on one here. Here's Bledsoe. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Bledsoe's got nine points here in the second half. Lakers leading by 10. Ball kicks to James. Over Middleton. Los Angeles with another miss. San Antonio with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Bledsoe. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Oh. 
And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Second of two is good. That brings them within single digits. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. Ball dishes to James. Bertans grabs the board. You know, you'd love to see him pull that off, but instead he goes from highlight reel to the bloopers. Here's Bledsoe, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First free throw is good, and that brings them within eight. So hits them both. And the Lakers with possession here. Now James. Pass to Kuzma. The tray. Rebound San Antonio. And Zubats picks up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that trims the lead to six. As Gasol continues to work on his shooting range, guess what? His free throw percentage has been creeping up as well. Probably not a coincidence. Gasol hits them both. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. A few more productive trips here, and things could really get interesting. Now here's LeBron. Poked away. Stolen by Bloodzone. Middleton on the wing. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's LeBron. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The defender is left helpless to stop that. LeBron with too many tools in the toolbox, and that killer instinct. Free throw good, LeBron. Oh, and he caps that off in Started. style. He gets the finish with the harm. Huge possession there to extend the lead. San Antonio calls timeout. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Ball against Bloodsoe. Pass to Bertans. Count it! And now they trail by just four. 
and you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Third team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles, Lonzo Ball. At the line for two. Shooting two, gentlemen. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And this huddle up about two things. The quick shot and then the quick foul. And you're right. And if they do get the bucket, you love to foul someone who isn't automatic from the line. That would take good denial of the ball on the inbounds. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment, and let's take back this game. Let's see what they can do, Kevin. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Every little bit helps. Outstanding work hitting those free throws. Middleton the pass to Bertens. Ludzo for three. That one, no good. And this is what he gives you, the ability to contest the shot without fouling. Perimeter defense at a premium these days. You see the value in this kind of effort. And so the Lakers take the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, were you satisfied with the team's performance tonight? Uh, we got a very good team, but in order for us to continue to improve, we have to go out and we have to defend, we have to play for one another, and we have to be selfless. You know, it's not about the individual, it's about the team, and if we all give in to what the team needs to do to be better, then, then we'll be okay. It is a work in progress, LeBron. Thanks for your time. Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.